Um, all right, well, we always start with just introduce yourself. Uh, yeah. Who you are and what you're doing. Hey, I'm Brian Terrell Clark. I am an alum of this amazing program. Um, and I'm back here at Temple's campus, not only to be a distinguished uh, visiting professor, but also I'm producing an amazing movie called Science of a Slam Dunk that we're going to be shooting right here in North Philly on Temple's campus. Yeah. So in a world. No, I'm joking. So, so the movie centers um, James Thomas, an NBA superstar who has lost his shot. Um, back in the day, they used to call it the yips. I don't know if they still call it the yips, but he's got the yips. And essentially, he went on a podcast and he's trying to explain what it's like to be a black man in America. And he essentially says, it's like saying, like trying to explain this to you is like trying to, and he's grasping at words. And he's like, it's like saying the Big Bang Theory didn't exist and they quote him, and he begins to lose all his brand deals. I mean, I'm sure you can, you can imagine as an NBA star, you start splitting the Bible Belt versus the science folks, and, and it becomes kind of a, a mess. And to kind of save his career, a woman from the back office of his, uh, of his uh, PR company says, I can, I can save his career. First thing she does, she sends him to his middle school to be the judge of a science fair. Then we meet our lead. Our lead, Noah, is an eighth grade MacGyver level physics wizard who's like doing huge experiments on like a North Philly playground, right? But his biggest dream is to go to Berkeley Prep so that he can one day be one of the best physicists in the world. And of course he shows up needing to win this so that he can go to regionals, so that he can go to this prestigious program. And who's the judge? The guy who says he doesn't believe in the Big Bang Theory. And so essentially they clash. It's a beautiful buddy comedy. It's hilarious. It's so much fun. It's from like age nine to 99 is our tar target audience. However, the whole thing is really a Trojan horse. I call it hiding the vitamin in the candy. The vitamin is a conversation that we're having about the science community, the medical community, and the black cultural experience historically of the mistrust that's kind of been birthed ever since the Tuskegee experiments. Uh, infant death mortality and, morta and, and mortality to mothers is deeply lost from black women in, uh, in hospitals even today. So we're having a really serious conversation in the movie. What's beautiful about the way it's constructed is that the kid watching the movie is going to have a very different experience than the adults watching the movie. And we've done that intentionally and on purpose. And so I'm super excited about it because of the message, the history, um, but also we get a, a lot of chances to, to turn up the fun. You know what I mean? It's not trauma forward. And that's why I love, love the film so much. What does it mean to you to be working on this um, in Philly and at Temple? Man, we have, uh, we've shifted this entire movie to be a love letter to Philly. Um, Philly is a special city to me, man. And I've lived a lot of different places. But the thing I think is funny about Philly is like Philly almost feels like it's in like a nostalgic time warp. Like it's such a progressive city. It's such a epicenter for a lot of art and culture, but at the same time, there's a swag to Philly. There's like a patina on Philly that still feels a little 70s and 60s to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because when I'm driving, I still see like the trolley tracks and things like that. But there's something kind of magically nostalgic about a place like this. And so for people who love those family friendly movies that already feel a little nostalgic, I think that there's something about setting it here that's going to bring a lot of those feelings back. Temple specifically. Temple specifically for me is nostalgic because I love this place. Um, you know, graduating here, I feel like I learned so much about um, who I am. And I learned a lot about the kind of art that I wanted to create and a lot of trial and error as you are in college, you know, trying everything. Um, that's what a liberal arts education, I think, um, offers. Um, and so I think, you know, when dealing with a child Who's, who's finding his way. I mean, he's in middle school going to high school. Um, and then we have a basketball player who's trying to find his shot again. I think the exploration of life, I really began to investigate while I was here at Temple. So I, I think that's, that's embedded in the, the setting as well. well. Um, we always ask the question, uh, what advice you might give somebody who's coming to Temple right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, do it all. Do it all. If you're coming to Temple, do it all. It offers it, right? Like, I was a theater major, music major, religious studies major. Do it all. Do it all. Because there might be great intersections that you never thought you would 
discover, but also more importantly, it's a space where you can begin to critically think for yourself. So while you're here, do it all, especially while you have the safety of the campus and the time to do it. Because I think once you leave this place, you kind of get thrown into the rhythm of life. You get thrown into the rhythm of, of work. You get thrown into the rhythm of trying to build families and healthy relationships. This is such a special time for a student. So come here and have the safety of this time to explore who you are and what you want to do with your life. Come to Temple. Go out. It's a great place. T.U. Go out. <laughs> Thank you so much.